All right, this video right here that you're looking at is from this weekend. It was taken by the Ohio Investigative Unit at Cleveland's Barley House. And as a result, the downtown bar received its third citation for violating COVID-19 regulations. News 5's Jesse Schultz found other bar and restaurant owners concerned they'll be punished for others who are not following the rules. Sam McNulty, the owner of Market Garden Brewery, Barcento, and Nano Brew on West 25th, is worried about what's to come. I think everybody's looking around like who's still going to be standing, even if we don't have another shutdown. But with a shutdown, it would be a cataclysmic event across the state. He says he and the majority of restaurant owners are working diligently to keep their customers and staff safe. The air will have been re refreshed. Here at Market Garden, we've taken it a step further and our HVAC systems are using the same technology that the Cleveland Clinic uses. So it's an ultraviolet uh, filtration system. He's part of a coalition of more than a dozen Cleveland restaurants behind the We Can't Close movement, urging Governor DeWine not to shut them down. The industry is asking the governor, you know, the, the local health departments, both city and, and county, inspect us, make sure we're on our toes doing everything right. And for the, folk, for the few folks that aren't doing it right, you know, deal, deal with those problems. But it seems like this, that restaurant owners are concerned could hurt the cause. This video from state investigators shows Barley House last weekend. OIU officials say there were more than 100 people there, not social distancing, not wearing masks, dancing and roaming around freely. On Saturday, Cavs star Larry Nance Jr. shared another video of Barley, which racked up hundreds of thousands of views on social media. Nance called the incident irresponsible and begged people to wear a mask. Brian Fink, who lives in Ohio City, says this kind of behavior will cause problems for other businesses. If it's a repeat offender, then there needs to be some discipline because otherwise you're ruining it for other places that are abiding by the rules. And abiding by the rules is exactly what McNulty and the other restaurant owners behind the We Can't Close movement are doing and what they hope Governor DeWine will take into account when deciding if their doors can stay open or have to close yet again. We're having a lot of repeat offenders um, in the industry, and you don't throw out the, the whole bush hole because there's one bad apple. Reporting in Cleveland, Jesse Schultz, News 5. So we did reach out to Barley House for comment, but they have yet to respond. The bar did have a hearing with the Ohio Liquor Control Commission regarding its violations. A decision will come within 20 days, and we'll keep watching.